Raise your hand if you can name the five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, nailed it. But our sensations from a physiological standpoint are divided into two, the special and somatic sensations. The special sensations rely on dedicated sense organs like those for vision, hearing, taste, and smell. The somatic sensations, meanwhile, arise from the intricate network of receptors within our skin, muscles, tendons, and joints. These form the somatosensory system. Now, ever raised your hand and felt it hover in the air while your eyes were closed or blindfolded, or bask in the sun's warmth? How about the touch of a feather, sending goosebumps across your arm? These are what are referred to as somatic sensations. They are of three types. One is mild or light sensations, encompassing fine touch, tactile sensations, spatial awareness, tactile localization, precise discrimination, tactile discrimination, and comfortable temperature perception, 2540 degrees C, they are referred to as epicritic sensations. The second category is crude sensations. These include the blunt pressure of a heavy touch, the searing sting of pain, and temperature extremes far from our comfort zone, above 40 degrees Celsius and below 25 degrees Celsius. These are the protopathic sensations, and they are primitive in nature. The third category is sensations arising from deeper structures beneath the skin and visceral organs. They include sensation of vibration or palesthesia, which is the combination of touch and pressure sensation, kinesthetic sensation or kinesthesia, sensation of position and movements of different parts of the body, and visceral sensations arising from viscera. These are referred to as deep sensation. 